Were the priests at the time of Jesus Christ or Yesu doing the right thing? Or were they doing the right thing before Yesu came or after? Why will you ever bring Yesu if they were doing the right thing? My name is Kofi Adalator. This is part two of the first one that I did earlier. And we're going to look at the status of the priest at the time before Jesus Christ came in. As I mentioned earlier, you have had a problem with our priest before the avow or the Israelites were taken into captivity in Babylon. And we, we learned that even in Babylon, the avow or the Hebrews continued to be worshipping idols. And this was the reason why Yehovah actually allowed the Babylonians to come and capture them in the first place. But instead of them to repent and do the right thing, they indulge in this idolatry. So, after their return to Jerusalem, during the time of Togbi Ezra, they continued with this idolatry as well. This was something that was embedded into them that they find it really very difficult to, to kick it away from the ever society. And the priests who were supposed or who are the intermediaries between the people and Yehovah and those who are supposed to be holy and to do the right thing and to teach the people the right thing were so much involved into this idolatry in such a way that they find it very difficult to part away with it. So the people also became part of it. It was very serious to explain that Yehovah has to look for somebody to come in to find his people because they were lost. And Togbi Ezra was the first person after the return of these Hebrews from Babylon to set up a motion that will usher in Yesu or Jesus Christ. And when Jesus Christ came in, we all knew how the priest and Jesus Christ had a lot of clashes. In fact, intercations or altercations that were between Jesus Christ, especially his teachings and the way he behaves um, with the people were an upfront uh, to the priests. They didn't like it because to them, Jesus Christ has come to take over from them. And because of that, there was always this kind of intercations or, you know, uh, infighting between Jesus and the priest. In fact, for even Jesus Christ to go into the Sahindu or to go into the synagogue and to kick out traders in the house of God tells you the height at which these priests were so corrupt and involved into bad things and idolatry at the time. In fact, also, for Jesus Christ to tell us to go into our rooms and pray when we need to also tells you that he does not believe in this priest. Otherwise, he would have said, let's go to this priest for, so that they can help us to, to seek the face of God. But in this next chapter, we're going to talk about what happened or why is it that Jesus Christ ignored this priest at his time. My name, you know. I thank you very much.